Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for May, at any time in May. So we are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Virgo for May? Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um... What do we have for Virgo? Could also be breaking free from something because the Capricorn is ruled by the Devil card and it was reversed, so that's breaking free from a toxic behavior or a toxic situation. Taking back control. Younger man. Hmm. Could also be dealing with a Cancer. Cancer just got that card as well. Could also be dealing with somebody that is immature. Doesn't have to be an actual younger man, but this is somebody that is immature. Pay attention to your dreams, Virgo. Your dreams are really speaking to you at this time, so pay attention. And also pay attention to your dreams, your, you know, the dreams of what you want for your future. Pay attention to those as well. Make sure you're not forgetting what your dreams are in any shape or form, whether it's your dreams, your daydreams, your night dreams, or your dreams. Pay attention, okay? Replace your fear with faith. You need to replace your fear with faith, Virgo. Okay? New love entering your life. So there could be some new love that is entering your life. This could be a renewal of love. You know, a renewal of love with somebody that you are with right now. But this is new love that is entering your life in any way, shape, or form. You may need to replace your fear with faith, okay? Uh, so let's get one of these. Remember, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. You should be watching this on my channel. What do we have for Virgo? Hostilities in the past, thank the Lord. So, hostilities. I think that you have been involved in a hostile situation probably with somebody that is very immature by the looks of things. I feel like the hostilities are in the past, okay? I feel like... Uh, Something is about to change because that is in the past. It is with somebody that is very immature. Could be a man uh, or a masculine energy. What do we have for Virgo? Energy work. Now, I said cancer, didn't I? I don't know if you're dealing, going to be dealing with a cancer in the future. That could be your new partner, or this is a very loving energy in your future. Cancer is all about love, emotions, feelings. So, energy work. Cancer got this as well. So, I'm not sure if you're going to be dealing with a cancer. You're just taking on that loving energy. Life can be electrifying because it's very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Some of you have the gift of healing. You may be a healer. You help others to heal. And I feel like your gift is going to increase during this time. I feel like you have been given this gift to help others heal. You can leave the hostilities behind, remain positive, pay attention to your dreams, and help others through your experiences. Have faith. Have faith in your gift. Have faith in your healing abilities. They are real. So what do we have for Virgo? Virgo. 
What do we have? Some sort of dream is coming true. That's what I just heard. Maybe it's a healing dream, you know, of healing from the past hostilities or healing, helping others to heal from your experience or your healing hands. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Woo! Well, that's us. Okay, Queen of Pentacles reversed is unstable, insecure, um, but it, I feel like you need to let go of your insecurities. You need to ground yourself. You need to come back to reality. Don't worry about the money. Don't focus on the money. Don't focus on the materialistic things, okay? And there's a lack of value here. Maybe you don't know your value. You don't know your worth. You don't know how capable you are. Maybe you were dealing with an immature in the person, an immature person that didn't value you, that made you insecure. Seven of Pentacles, hard work, perseverance. Perhaps it's time to relocate. Maybe you need to go someplace else. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. I feel like some seeds that you planted some time ago are coming to fruition. You may be worried about it. You may think that they're not going to grow. I think that if you uh, invest and you take care of business, things are about to grow. You need to have faith. Keep investing. Keep doing what you're doing. Do not let your insecurities get the best of you. I think you keep looking back at a hostile situation and you need to probably release that. I, there's some sort of inner insecurities that have maybe you you have forgotten what your dreams are. You feel feel like you can't fulfill your dreams or you don't have faith in your dreams. Don't. Don't do that because your perseverance and your hard work will pay off. Two of Pentacles reverse. I think you need to reprioritize. I think that you're you're trying to do too much. You may be uh, trying to to do too many things at one time. Maybe you need to let something go so that you can focus on one thing more than the other. Or you need to bring balance to your life. Maybe you're not focusing enough on your job. You're focusing too much on this or that or whatever. Or you're not focusing enough on a relationship. You need to balance out your priorities. Perhaps you need to focus on yourself a little bit more. I mean, we got you in reversed, okay? So that's a lack of groundedness and too material materialistic and too worried about the money. Let go of the money. Let go of the materialism. Let go of the the, the need to um, prove, okay, you are valuable. You are you are worthy. You are stable. You are solid. You are hardworking. Maybe you need to get back to the basics. Um, Seven of Pentacles is a card of investment and hard work. You may need to, it feels like you need to uh, let something go because there's too much it's chaos with the two of pentacles reversed i feel like you've been trying to do too much you got too much on your plate you need to do energy work on yourself perhaps you're giving too much to others and you need to take care of yourself you're depleting yourself take care of yourself invest in yourself virgo Stop looking back at the hostile situation, whatever it is, with this immature individual who has made you feel insecure and that you've got to prove that you can do this. i got to prove, right? The devil. Interesting. In reverse. So that's that Capricorn in reverse. That is breaking free. Breaking free from a toxic behavior. Breaking free from a bond that is not compatible. Breaking free from some sort of materialism or greed or lust or something that is toxic. So I do think that you do need to let something go. Maybe it's a behavior or it's a habit or it's a toxic bond. You need to sever ties. You need to uh, break free from something that is not healthy. And I feel like... Whatever this unhealthy thing is that you have been bound to, I feel like you have allowed it to uh, steal your energy. You've allowed it to uh, hold you down. I think that 
this is a situation where you may maybe you need to relocate sometimes you need to say sometimes you need to put your feet on new ground you need you may need uh, to invest someplace else sometimes you know the energy energy stays say in a house say the in the house that you live if you lived with this person that um there was hostilities with and all the things are still there because there's materialism here the energy is still there okay sometimes you need to move the house you need to move you need to move house sometimes sometimes you need a fresh start you need a clean slate there's no fertility here there's no growth here there's enter there's a cleansing that is needed you need to clean the energy and sometimes sage is not enough Sometimes you need to get rid of the things you need to, you, that you acquired together. You know what I mean? I feel like there is a need to uh, invest someplace else and go someplace else. And if you and right now it's it's not going to be easy because in the now position is the Seven of Pentacles. That is a hard work is ahead. Hard to fulfill your dreams because dreams is right above it. It's going to take a lot of hard work and it may cost you some money. It may cost you some, maybe some of you need to move. And I know some people don't want to move. You know, I don't want to move. It's going to cost me too much money. Well, that's the message that I have here is that you may need to move and it may cost you some money. It may cost you some money to break free from this uh, energy that is toxic. It's not healthy for you. It is holding you down. And it could be the materialism. It could be the house. It could be the home. It could be the things that you have acquired. Those are materialistic items, okay, that you don't need. And this is letting go. So perhaps you need to let go of some things that don't long, don't serve you anymore that are holding you down. I feel like you need to have faith, okay? Replace your fear with faith and break free from whatever it is. And that is how you clear your energy because all that energy, the bed that you slept in, you know, everything, the home, you know, it's not easy. Trust me. I just did it. And it cost me a boatload. But I'm free. And the devil card is freedom in reversed. Freedom. But there's a lot of hard work ahead. So I feel like right now some of you may be planning. You may be uh, paying. Your dreams are going to really be speaking to you during this time. Okay, so really pay. And this could have to do with a job. It could have to do with with uh, where you work. It could have to do with your home. I've mentioned home a couple times. It could also have to do with a toxic partner that you are engaged with. The devil can be, you know, a sexual partner or somebody that you have attached yourself to for all the wrong reasons, for some sort of sexual gratification. Perhaps you need to break free from that. There is some sort of a need to reprioritize where you are giving your energy. Do you want to give your energy to something that is unhealthy or do you want a free spirited glowing happy energy this is about hard work it's about investment and where you where are your dreams you know what do you want for your life do you want to do you want to continue to uh, hold on to something for materialistic reasons or do you want to continue to stay where you're at for because it's easy or do you want to put in the work and go someplace that you've always dreamt of going? Anyhow, I don't know where all that is coming from, but I feel as though you need to be practical. And that's what, and maybe you're being overly practical here. Definitely that could be the case. Definitely, we have somebody here that is thinking about relocating or they're thinking about going someplace, but they understand or they know that it's going to be hard work and, and letting go of the things I feel like is a problem. I don't know where that's coming from. I feel like there's uh, this isn't working out. Something isn't working out with the Two of Pentacles reversed, and it, and it may a, a better location um, will probably bring success. Put it that way. Um, some of you have a healing ability. You could you you may be a healer. You can heal. You can help others to heal from toxic behavior, from toxic situations. But it will require you to invest and uh, not sit there and procrastinate. I feel like there's procrastination here. There's stubbornness. There's uh, 
uncertainty and you need to replace your fear with faith and take that next step that you have been reluctant to take. Four of Wands reversed. Now the Four of Wands reversed. This party is over. This is a messy situation. It is clean up time. It's time to clean up a mess. There's no there's no commitment here. This could be the end of a commitment. This is the end. It could be the end of a contract. This is probably separating from some sort of partnership that is no longer, it's not fun anymore. There's no growth here. Um, temperance reversed. So temperance reversed is not accepting, not allowing. And that's right next to you, interesting, which is also me because I'm Virgo rising. Temperance reversed is uh, going overboard, engaging in negative patterns. Something is off. Something doesn't feel right. You know something isn't right. Perhaps you, and this isn't healthy. It's not healthy. I feel like there's inappropriate behavior here with the temperance right next to the devil reversed. There's in, somebody is acting inappropriately, and I and I and I'm gonna be honest with you. Be, I feel like it, and it could be somebody that you're dealing with. It could be you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could also be dealing with another Virgo or a Taurus. You could also be dealing with anybody else. Put it that way, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, whoever you're dealing with, you're dealing with somebody that is immature, they are hostile, they like to fight a lot. And perhaps you need, to, and maybe it's, it could be you, you could be fighting your own dreams, you know, because you're in a comfortable situation right now. Anyhow, temperance reversed is uh, something is off, it's time to go someplace else. This is refusing to accept change, refusing to allow change, refusing to compromise. There's some sort of imbalance here. There's a need to uh, make a change and to uh, stop being so stubborn. Anyhow, um, a change is needed. I feel as though you are going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted this at the end of this month as well. I feel like you're going to be tempted to uh, stay put or to protect yourself in some way. You may be on the defensive. You may be, yeah, and I feel like that's what it is. You may be shut down. You may shut, I don't see a lot of emotions here. You may not be expressing your feelings, expressing your emotions. And it's interesting that I mentioned cancer because cancer is about emotions. Perhaps you need to follow your heart. You need to open your heart. You need to uh, allow your heart to guide you in the direction that you need to go. But I feel like you're you're refusing. It feels like you're refusing to open up. You're refusing to invest in something new. And I feel like you have a new investment here, right here, right now, to do something, to do something else. But it's that old toxic behavior that is keeping you stuck. So I, anyway, I feel like you probably have an opportunity to commit to something new. You have a new commitment here with the Four of Wands, whether it's reversed or upright. There's an opportunity, but you will need to reprioritize and replace your fear with faith and probably step into unknown territory and remove yourself from them old negative patterns and that old toxic behavior of staying bound to something that is not healthy. I feel like, and it could be just materialistic things, okay, or protection. Um, you may want to protect yourself because you've been in a hostile situation in the past. Anyway, I feel like during this time, it is about opening up your energy and allowing yourself to heal. I think you have been healing. I see freedom here, freedom from a uh, toxic situation, um, letting something go, and perhaps uh, getting together with somebody new or planning a move. It feels like we have planning a move here. I, f I feel like you need to have faith in the future. Um, it's time for a change. Two of Pentacles is about change as well. But it's always your choice. And it will require you severing ties with something. That devil reverse is severing ties. And it's something that you are strongly bound to. You know? And it could just be things. Pay attention to your dreams. I feel like you have a lot of hard work ahead, but change is needed. 
This is all about your energy and your healing. And I feel like you have a healing ability. You have, a, you have an opportunity to help others heal. But where you're at, it's stagnant. And that's why something is off. And I see you really thinking about, you know, change. Really, really, really thinking about it. Right now, you've been able to juggle, as up to now, you've been able to juggle all these demands and all of these things that are going on. If you can let something go that doesn't serve you, and it could just be a possession. I feel like it might be a possession. And it, and it could be hostilities. It's either a possession or hostilities. If you let something go that is toxic in your life, that's when you, you will find your prosperity okay um life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments yeah you need to love yourself where is the love here does anybody see it okay i don't see any love here and and maybe it's a lack of self-love because there's insecurities here some of you are just work, 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 work. I'm going to, I'm going to bury myself in my job. I'm going to bury myself in my work and I'm going to ignore my own needs. Pay attention to your dreams. Life can be electrifying because it's very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So once you love yourself and invest in yourself, your own gift, your own healing energy to help others will increase. But it has to start with you. You have to commit with loving you. Anyhow, I do feel as though you are breaking free from something toxic. Maybe it's that old toxic negative repetitive patterns holding on to hostilities or holding on to possessions. I see you um, investing in something new. And you need to have faith. Some of you, I mean, the Four of Wands can be re reversed, can be an unexpected new commitment. There could be an upcoming celebration. There could be some unexpected fortune, you know, or a relationship that is about to become more committed with the Four. It could be with the Four of Wands reversed. You may getting be getting yourself into a new commitment. That could be a job commitment or something that is more... Uh, easy more balanced but you have to you have to have faith in it you have to believe in it and i feel like there's going to there's a lot of work ahead you're going to have to face your insecurities put it that way I feel like there is, if you are single, there is somebody coming into your life that is not toxic. This person is not toxic. This person may be a healer like yourself. You can meet this person at a get together, some sort of party. My advice is to invest. Stop engaging in your own insecurities and letting your own insecurities get in the way of success. Anyway, good luck.